In order for Saudi Aramco to be a reliable supplier of energy, we will continue to invest in hydrocarbon facilities. And let me share with you some of our mega projects that either are under construction or have been completed to share with you the complexity of some of these hydrocarbon facilities. For example, the Khorais Crude Increment Program is the largest crude increment undertaken in the history of Saudi Aramco. The Khorais Central Processing Facility is fed from three different oil fields across the kingdom, has a production capacity of 1.2 million barrels per day of Arab light. The total production of Khorais is so large, it can be compared with the production of some of the oil producing companies, countries. This program is complex, extends across the kingdom, six locations covering more than 10 million square meters of land, 2,000 kilometers of pipelines for water, oil, and gas. And these pictures shows the development of Hores, which is currently under construction. The Manifa field is the second largest crude increment, was also recently completed, has a capacity of approximately 900,000 barrels, and this project involves both offshore and onshore facilities. The complexity of this project while, while it was developed was increased due to the necessary protection of marine life as it requires that we have built 41 kilometer of causeway in advance for the offshore production platform located in shallow water. Another program is the Khorasaniya program. And this crude increment, once completed, it has a production capacity of 500,000 uh, barrels per day. These are some pictures to show the complexity of the facility and the complexity and the large sizes of some of the equipment we have. And then the Sheba increment project, which is located in the Red Desert, we continue to expand this facility and it is capacity now approaching as well uh, a million uh, barrel. This is located in Arrab al Khali, a remote area in southern of Saudi Arabia, near the UAE border. Saudi Aramco places great importance in the safe and reliable operation and invests tremendously in information technology to monitor and control all of our production facilities. Here is an overview of our main central control center facility at our headquarter in Dahran. The center provides capabilities to monitor and control the movement of millions of barrels of oil from wellheads to country terminals. The center acts as a hub for oil and gas and refined products to optimize the hydrocarbon system capacities and inventories to deliver quality products to the customer at the right time. To build these facilities, we emphasize on engineering excellence. Engineering under my leadership includes the development and the responsibility of corporate engineering standards, quality management, the professional engineering development, corporate innovation, corporate knowledge management, the Board of Engineers, as well as the evaluation and selection of technologies. Developing and implementing and maintaining high quality engineering standard is critical. The Central Engineering Organization is responsible for managing over 3,800 standard and specification and procedures. We have uh, approximately 62 standard committees, 16 responsible department, and under engineering, we have more than 1,000 engineers. 
The magnitude of our effort is substantial and necessary to drive engineering excellence, which has successfully delivered company mega project and maintain safe and operation of our facilities. The Board of Engineers, chaired by the Chief Engineer, governs the standard management, the quality management, the innovation, and the technology. And under the standard committee, we are responsible to monitor multiple of these commodities that you have seen here on the slide. Also under engineering, we manage the corporate knowledge management system, and we have communities of practices, technical alerts, knowledge management for all aspects, including project management, as well as operation uh, and uh, uh, innovation for our facilities. This process is very important in today's digital world as it enables us to capture knowledge and acquire knowledge and disseminate knowledge for our people across the kingdom. Another important aspect is technology and innovation. It plays an integral role in our company's business. We have established 10 diverse technology programs to address company technical challenges enhance processes, and create future opportunities for investment to capture tomorrow. Let's look a little deeper into some of these programs. The first program are the non-metallic program, second is the fourth industrial revolution, robotics and UAV or unmanned vehicles, process technology, energy and water management. For the non-metallics, the non-metallics is important technology as it allows us an opportunity to address the corrosion issues that we face with our hydrocarbon facilities. And the ability to use some of the non-metallic allowed us, instead of putting uh, pipelines that require uh, time, time and effort to, to install with the non-metallics, the installation is faster and the life of the technology is much longer. For the non-metallic program, the engineering team, we actually, we were able to develop a roadmap highlighting 84 applications for non-metallics. Some of these technologies are available and others require further development to withstand the high pressures and temperatures we face in our facilities. For example, some of, uh, also we have focus areas for onshore, offshore, as well as uh, for downhaul facilities and so forth. So the, the technologies, once we have it available and can be deployed, we automatically include that in our standard. But if it is still to be developed, some, we, we work with uh, some companies to be able to further the technologies, or we send it to and work with some of our uh, laboratories for further development. Another application is to assess corrosion, and this we launched the UAV, and we are able to take these images without having to send people to assess the quality and then the maintainability of the facility. Another technology programs we have developed are for uh, project management, for construction, for supply chain, nanotechnologies, and so on and so forth. We place a great importance for the professional development of our engineers. We have multiple program. We have the specialist development program for our engineers, uh, the specialist development program with mentors, 
uh, is uh, uh, governed by a board. You I thought it was appropriate for this see capturing or claiming tomorrow. Or you can see nothing to hold you back. No set ways of thinking, no restrictions, no divisions, no excuses. Just endless potential. This is the blank page you need to write humanity's next chapter. Neon. Over 25,000 square kilometers of inspiration. With room for your biggest ideas. A part of the world set aside for those who want to change the world. A land created to free people from stress. A place where pioneers and thinkers and doers can exchange ideas and get things done. A startup the size of a country that will change the way we live and work forever. Healthier, happier, with more time for the things that really matter. A truly global culture from every place and background you can imagine that can show the rest of the planet how it's done. With energy that flows from the sun and wind, neighborhoods that can feed and clean themselves, technologies that make life everything it can be. This is where we can prepare together for the next era of human progress. Some will look at these ancient hills and see nothing. But the rest of the world will know that this is where a new way of living began. Discover Neon. So Neom is about 26,000, over 26,000 uh, square kilometers. Uh, the kingdom have dedicated $500 billion for a mega city on the kingdom's Red Sea coast, which will span uh, three countries, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, and Jordan. Neom is focused on stimulating economic growth and diversification by nurturing international innovation and manufacturing to drive local industry, job creating, creation, and GDP growth. It is indeed inspiring, and I thought it was so appropriate for me to use it and end my presentation. I want to thank you again for your attention, and new era of modern life. Thank you very much.